Hey, in one of my previous videos, I'd shown you this uh, web application that I'd built where you can upload a document and uh, ask questions uh, from the document and uh, AI behind the scenes would uh, respond back with the answer. And so today what I want to do is basically show you how to do this, do, do something similar, but using a digital assistant. So I have here a digital assistant that I put together and uh, let's get going here. Let me show you. So this digital assistant named Sheila, um, it has been constructed or has been instructed to be an expert in answering questions related to policies and procedures. Uh, why did I do that? Because what we're going to do is we're going to ask questions about this uh, document, which is uh, fair lending uh, laws and regulation. So when I built this digital assistant, I provided that document. So this digital assistant essentially has that document available to uh, it and can answer um, questions related to the document. So, all right, let's nothing like, you know, just jumping into it. So let's go. Let me ask a question. What are some of the prohibitive variables I cannot use to make lending decisions? You cannot use prohibited basis factors such as race, gender, ethnicity, religion, national origin, marital status, age, or disability to make lending decisions. Okay, let's uh, ask another question here. Let me see, what can we ask? Let's scroll down here a little bit. Um, types of lending discriminations. What are the different types of lending discrimination? There are three types of lending discrimination, overt evidence of disparate treatment, disparate impact, and redlining. I'll ask a follow-up here. Tell me a little bit more about redlining. Redlining is the practice of denying or limiting access to credit or favorable terms based on the race, color, national origin, or other prohibited characteristics of individuals or the areas they reside in. It can also involve reverse redlining, targeting certain borrowers or areas with less advantageous products or services. All right, that was a little more lengthier than I wanted it. <laughs> uh, but in any case, what's uh, happening here, similar to this app where we uploaded the uploaded a document, and behind the scenes, uh, you know, uh, we uh, we would go use AI, we would uh, ch use ChatGPT uh, to find the answers uh, from the document. Well, similarly here, I I provided this document, and so it uses a similar logic behind the scenes. The only difference is that you get this interactive uh, experience, right? Uh, user, interactive uh, user experience with this digital assistant. And, uh, you know, in this case, I uh, built it to you know, be an expert on policy or procedure, and it could have been anything else, right? But what I wanted to show you was that I think this is a much better way of building that sort of a question and answer sort of a chat bot uh, using a digital assistant. And uh, let's see how this got done. So basically, I'll add, all one has to do, let me, before I do that, let me show you the way I created this was using this D-ID platform, which I've showcased in a couple of my other videos as well. I'm a paid, uh, I pay for this, so I subscribe to uh, this platform. So in order for you to do what I'm going to show you or what I've been showing you here, uh, you would need a, a paid subscription. So how did I create this uh, digital assistant? Honestly, guys, it takes three steps. Create agent. Um, and... Uh, let me see up here. So you would start here. Uh, you would uh, use one of these avatars that's available to you. Um, and then let's say we'll just go with this. You would uh, give it a name. Uh, I had already kind of done that. Use uh, Jane. Uh, there are different agent voices that you can uh, select. I'm just taking a default here. And uh, you have an opportunity here to give uh, instructions uh, such as what... Um, what does your agent do? How should it behave? Uh, you know, what should it not do? Uh, so sort of like a system prompt, basically, uh, if you're uh, familiar with that. And then I'm not going to put anything in here. I'll just go to next. 
here's where you would just upload your file or your files, your document or your documents. You're, you're allowed to um, upload up to five files, um, but no more than 100 megabytes. So I'm not going to do any of this uh, here, but that's all it, if, that, that's all it would take. And um, here it says takes two, two credits. So you got to have credits, basically got to pay for the <laughs> platform. So that's all it takes to create a digital assistant uh, that can answer questions on your domain specific knowledge, basically your documents that you provided, right? So I think uh, there, there, I'm sure, I know there are plenty of use cases for something like this. And what's really neat is that once you build this, you can share this with uh, your colleagues, your friends, whatever, um, and you know, the, directly the link to this video, uh, to this chatbot, or you can embed this into your you know, website or intranet, et cetera, and make it available to all the employees to use this digital assistant uh, that can find answers about, um, uh, yeah, about in this case, fair lending, right? So it could be whatever you had uploaded, but it's, it's as simple as that. Hope you found this useful, helpful. Until next time.